Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Fallon. Today I'm going to be showing you how I have my vinyl collection set up, stored, my record player set up and stored, and because that's going to take all of five minutes, I'm also going to show you all the records that I've bought recently, which will take significantly longer because I have a problem. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my record setup now and then and come back and do the records. Okay, so this is the general overview of my setup. So coming in, I this is just a tapestry that my mom gave me that you definitely need to know about. This is all my stuff. This is just like a little a little stand to like display the album cover on while I'm spinning it. It's just a candle, a cup that I have some like cleaning supplies in. Um, this is my record player. It's the Audio Technica ATLP 60. It was like the big record player when I first started collecting. So I just have it sitting up here. Um, and then the speaker that I have it hooked up to is actually my boyfriend's um, JBL Party Box, which is probably not the type of speaker that most people would recommend you get for your records, but I have had no issues with it. Um, it's just like a normal big speaker. It's not obviously necessarily meant for records, but it works perfectly fine for me. All my records sound great on it. So yeah, I know that there's a bunch of other sound things that people go into with records, but I really just like collecting physical media. I'm not super into the sound quality and making sure it's like as pristine as it can be. If that's what I want, I'll just listen to my like iPhone, Spotify music and my headphones. Vinyl, I just am trying to have a different type of experience than that. So that's basically that. Then I have this shelf, which used to be a bookshelf. I actually just, last night, actually set up these shelves for my books um, and switched it over so I could display my records in these shelves because I previously had them in the type of bins that I'm going to show you in a minute. But it really wasn't working for me. I didn't have enough space, and I just don't like having my records in bins. I prefer to have them on a shelf. I just didn't have a shelf for a while, so... I finally got a shelf, so I have two shelves worth of records. These are the records that I'm about to show you in the video. Um, but then I just have this last bin with the last portion of my records, which I think is fine. I just keep this blanket on top because my cat likes to sit on them. So, um, yeah, then it as protecting the top of them. But yeah, that's basically my whole setup. I just, I spin the record and that's it. I just know that a lot of people ask um, on my videos and for record you know, vinyl channels in general um, for people's record setups, so I thought I would show you. So first thing I have to show you is the Taking Back Sunday Tell All Your Friends 20 Year Anniversary Edition. This is one of my most iconic albums in my life. I listened to this album so much growing up and I do already have a black pressing, but I just really wanted the color pressing and what really sold me on it was that it comes with a 10 inch of demos. I actually bought this when I was buying my boyfriend a Christmas present, so I got this a little while ago. Um, I think the last time I did a vinyl collection update was before Christmas, so I was planning on waiting until I do my full 2023 vinyl collection update, but by then, like, I won't be able to do that for a while because I want to wait for all my pre-orders and stuff to come in, so here we are. This was an exclusive to whatever record shop I bought it from. I can't remember. I'll put it, I think it's Zaya Records, actually, now that I think of it. And it is this nice kind of like glassy green, has some black flecks in it. I almost said flakes. That doesn't make sense. Why don't I tell you some favorite songs off of these records? My favorite songs off of here, You Know How I Do, and There's No I in Team, are your and you're so last summer but there's no I in team it's just like one of my favorite songs to listen to in the entire world <laughs> then I have neutral milk hotel in the airplane over the sea I cannot believe how long it took me to pick this record up it's one of those records um, kind of like certain other records that I have in my collection now but like they are so everywhere that I don't feel a sense of urgency to pick them up and then how it usually happens and what happened with this is that I just end up, I've been listening to this record a lot and I'm like, I, it's finally time to get this in my collection. So I picked this up off a of merch bar. It was like $15 and yeah, I mean, this is just like, you know, it's, it's in the airplane over the sea. What are you going to do? Oh, Comely is my favorite song, but Two Headed Boy Part 1 and 2 are also chef's kiss. But Oh, Comely is probably in my opinion, the best song on the album. So then I have two records by My Bloody Valentine. I have Loveless and MBV. Loveless is one of my absolute favorite albums of all time. I am working on my top favorite albums of all time. I don't know how long the list is gonna be at this point, but I, I am working on it if you were wondering. But yeah, this is definitely on that list. I love it so much. I actually don't remember where I got this from, but I do believe this is the extended edition. This album is like always expensive, but I finally have it and I'm so happy. I know it's basic, but When You Sleep probably is my favorite song, but I also do love of soon blown a wish only shallow and loomer back to back i only said like this album is just so good it's like uh, i just love all types of shoegaze this more like electronic noisy but still like kind of dreamy i love the slow divey type of stuff i just i love it all and obviously i also picked up mbv i got this off of discogs i believe it was only like 20 dollars and this album is like 35 to 40 everywhere that i've seen it in person and my favorite song off of this 
only tomorrow she found now in another way i just i love this album i love this band i also like okay <laughs> No matter how many times I say it, people still have things to say about it. I talk fast. It's how I talk. I've been, people have been rude to me about it my entire life. Uh, it's not changing. It's just how I talk. You either get used to it or I will catch you on the flip side. So next is Knocked Loose, A Tear in the Fabric of Life. I got this off of Merch Now, actually back on Black Friday, but it didn't ship because something that I'm going to show you later um, was a pre-order item, so it all shipped together. Um, but this is their EP, A Tear in the Fabric of Life. I know that there is an argument about having like hardcore or metal stuff on vinyl um, and I just like having physical media of all the music that I like even if I listen to it less than more chill stuff that's more suited to vinyl um, but it looks like this it is absolutely gorgeous um, and it says a tear in the fabric of life so then this I picked up because I was buying the next record I'm going to show you and they were also selling this and that is Jack's Mannequin Everything in Transit this album is so nostalgic for me. I listened to this so much when I was in like 7th, 8th, ninth grade. Dark Blue was my song for so long. I still like love that song so much. It's definitely my favorite off this album. I know it's basic, but like it was my song and yeah, I just know I have this record. <laughs> and I bought it because the seller on Discogs was also selling the Princess Mononoke soundtrack and I wanted it. I also picked up Brave of the Firefly soundtracks. Now I have three Studio Ghibli records and yeah, these are some of my favorite movies of absolute all time. And they have such beautiful soundtracks that are so suited to vinyl and are just so stunning. And I, I love listening to them so much. Um, then I also picked up Flat Sound on a TV that no one saw. I've been listening to a ton of Flat Sound lately. I found this on Discogs for only $12. So I just decided to pick it up. And it is on a beautiful pressing. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's like blue and pink. Look at that. It is so gorgeous. Sorry, my camera, because it's like snowing outside, the like lighting is kind of shit, but I don't have another time to film this, so. These are the woes of living in stupid fucking New Hampshire. My favorite song off this record. It feels like I'm underwater and probably the title track. Flat Sound is kind of reminds me of like Toon Suicide in that like you just listen to his albums all the way through and get depressed. <laughs> this I picked up at an indie record store when I was actually getting the new tattoo that I got the other day and I found this at Music Connection in Manchester and that is the Edward Scissorhands soundtrack. Iconic! What a movie! I love this cover. I oh I've noticed that soundtracks have a tendency to really go up in price so I have been buying more of them when I see them um, because soundtracks between me and my boyfriend's collection are some of our most valuable. I'm not that that matters, but it's the kind of thing where if I want the soundtrack, I should buy it when I see it at a retail price because it is going to go up is more the principle, if you know what I mean. And you can more justify spending like $45 on this record when you're like, well, people resell these for hundreds of dollars. So if I'm ever in dire need of some cash, it is here. Not that I would probably ever do that, but like it's nice, it's a nice way to soothe yourself. And this is a very pretty pressing. I think it's called like Ice Sculpture Blue. And I mean, you can see it through the plastic, but I'll, very nice. And yeah, this is one of my favorite movies. I watched my fucking VHS tape of this like 60 times when I was a kid. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, it's definitely, in my opinion, Tim Burton's best thing that he's ever made besides like Beetlejuice, so. I got for Christmas from my mom and her husband and that is the top by the cure my cure collection is rapidly growing and I obviously have no complaints about it favorite songs are probably bird mad girl in the empty world this is not one of my favorite favorite cure records but it's definitely a great one and any cure record is very welcome in my collection I just already own all of my favorites so at this point it's just like collecting the rest but i'm so grateful for that they got that for me for christmas so sweet of them i also got off of pure noise um and that is the counterparts counterparts newest album a eulogy for those still here i always almost call it that architects album for those that wish to exist so i have to like look at it to refresh myself this is such a gorgeous gorgeous pressing my favorite songs um counterparts is probably my favorite heavy band and i just love all of their songs. I really love the title track, Whispers of Your Death, What Mirrors right, Might Reflect, A Mass Grave of Saints, their closers are always great. I would probably say that You're Not You Anymore will most likely always be my favorite album of theirs, but I don't think they have a bad album, so. Then um, I also picked this up when I got my tattoo. Was that yesterday? Two days ago. And that is Cocteau Twins, Heaven or Las Vegas. We went to a Newberry Comics that was in this mall. I'd never seen this. I'd never seen any Cocteau Twins at a Newberry before. And, you know, maybe I've just been going to the wrong places, but I just picked this up um, because I love this album. I love this band. Um, Cherry Colored Funk and Fruit for Foxes in Midsummer simply are the best songs on this record. Um, even though they are the most popular, they just are the best ones. So 
I don't know what to tell you. And if you've been following my channel over the last couple of months, you would know that Alex G has become my new everything. So I do have two more of his records. He restocked these on his website, so I just went ahead and picked them up. And I'm really glad I did because I think Trick might already be sold out. And Rules, I've been seeing at Newberry's for like $40, and each of these are only $25 on his website. So yeah, I have been listening to Trick a ton. I know it's like his most basic record, but I am just really obsessed with 16 Mirrors. And obviously, Mary is a banger, but Anna and advice oh so good so good and then off of rules what are my favorites candy and master and rules and message and no now and Miz and wicked boy I just I love I do in fact have a problem and then I do have a couple of seven inches to show you just to finish this off I have the two seven inches that came in each of my Alex G records rules came with Sandy and good and then trick came with Sarah and 16 mirrors these aren't like on the actual vinyl albums they like just put the songs on these seven inches so those and then this was my pre-order item from pure noise oh my god I'm so I feel like I've been like especially speed running talking this video is, is it because I have to go to work and it's fucking snowing like shit outside probably but this is Spanish love songs losers slash no reason to believe I love Spanish love songs they're one of my favorite bands at this point and I just picked this up very cute I just love seven inches even though I don't listen to them that often I just think that they're so cute <laughs> all right well thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope I didn't talk so fast that like you guys couldn't understand me there is a plow truck coming directly at my road so I'm gonna hurry this up oh thank you guys so much for watching you can follow me other places my letterbox my discogs my instagram all of the fun stuff will be linked down below um yeah I will catch you guys next time bye